people, particularly people's cattle, and he was eating cows. That's how big he is. Crops this size, using that immense jaw pressure, we'll be able to take down something the size of a cow, no worries at all. So people have been pointing there, and of course a lot of people don't like crops, to the point where they want dead. So Dad went out, he got his cow, and he rescued him, and gave him a great life to live here in Australia too. And he just loves him here. Have a go at the size of the cow. Now, Akko, don't look at me, look at the food. Let's see what he does here. Okay. Oh. Um, hey, Toby, can you grab that for me? <laughs> I, just, I just missed it. Maybe I can... No. <laughs> I don't think I will. But you can hear how that jaw pressure is just absolutely astronomical. Really amazing. And again, not particularly interested in food. He's more so just uh, keen to come out and defend his territory. And that's all good. Hey, Nicole. Oh, I'm so good. Oh, boy. I'm not moving. And he's loving the sun. Crocs are poikilothermic. They're ectotherms. Basically means they're solar powered. So he really enjoys getting out in the sun. A lot more than we do. Hey, Nicole. What a good crop. Now, it's all about conservation for us here. By showing you what not to do in crocodile territory, you can hopefully understand the rules. Where you're safe, where you're not safe. You have to be at least five metres back from the water's edge. Don't go swimming with crocs. Just follow some common sense rules and we can coexist with them. The importance of coexisting with crocs means we keep ourselves safe, but we also keep the crocodiles safe. Because every time there's an altercation, people want to go out and cull them. So let's get rid of that. We don't need to remove crocs. All we need to do is be smart in their territory. Simple as that. Now, uh, thank you very much for being here, for keeping our conservation legacy alive. And on that note, it's all about legacy for us here. So we encourage you to head down into the Crocoseum shop to have a look at a uh, beautiful display we've got of Dad's old croc catching boat.